The first, I believe, challenge that we have in the United States is the word midwife is a confusing term. And it's confusing because uh, we have a variety of kinds of midwives. And it also has not for, for almost a century been considered the standard of care for most women. If you go to Europe, you go to Asia, you go to many other countries and midwifery is, this, is the standard of care. That's who you see when you're, when you're pregnant. And that's not true in the United States. And that's a, a shift that we need to, to move towards. But because we're not seen as that, it's confusing. When people hear the word midwife, they don't know what it means. And part of that is because um, we have a number of different kinds of midwives in, in the United States. And so there's confusion about who does what, who has what educational preparation, whatever. So one of the unique places that we are right now is, um, one, we have a recognition among many of our I believe our policymakers that we are in a crisis in terms of poor outcomes and a d diminishing workforce. Um, second, our midwifery organizations are beginning to realize that they need to work together in a different way. And what has driven that is that the International Confederation of Midwives has recently approved um, three new standards, global standards for education, regulation, and association. And now we have an international approach to really looking at how we, we work with midwifery in every country. That is, is an absolutely wonderful platform and foundation for us to bring midwifery together in this country. It's, it's, an, it's a necessity for the survival of the profession and most of all for the health of women.